Hello, friend. Welcome. This is our Android chess written in Kotlin. We'll learn Android app development and Kotlin program language in parallel. So, in the last video, we introduced how to print out um, debugging message right in the so called console actually it's log cat log cat and uh, let's try it again so we print out um, the odd num uh, the even numbers from zero to seven inclusive okay um, we can click here to clear the log cat yeah and run again Oh, yes. And it's for us, for our purpose, we don't need those, right? We are not actually interested in the logging thing. We are just output something as um, to check the output of our, our game, our code logic. So it's ridiculous for this guy, for this guy occupying so much uh, screen space. And we have so little here. Uh, is there anything we can do that with that? Okay. Um, click here. Show date and time. Uncheck that. Show process and the thread ID. This guy two five five three nine thing. Okay, that's the process and uh, oh this is a process that is a thread id cool hide that and package name wow it's pretty long hide that tag we don't even need the tag okay now let's try it again oh oh we still have the d here <laughs> yeah that's okay uh, that's the best we can do, right? Yeah, we already. I is. This is a simple message. Okay. Now let's remove this and start doing our real business. Let's create our new class here for our um, game model. So new Kotlin class file. Sure. Um, chess model like that class do you want to add the following file to git um yes add why not okay so let's override the two string um method okay so let's return something like um description of chess okay now let's go back to this guy okay so can we show both of them let's drag this guy to How can we display? Nope. Um, double click. Um, split vertically, split horizontally, vertically, okay. So you can see both, right? Return that. Okay, now that's great. Our variable here um, our chess model chess model chess model here equals uh, I think we can do that right chess 
model equals chess model let's create a chess model here and uh, try to print out the, the thing okay so log dot d yes our tag and uh, chess model that dot to string okay so let's give a try run it yes description of chess now we can focus on or can we do this like using the string template can we do this clear and uh, try it again yeah this is, looks shorter and simpler right it means we'll, we'll output the value of this guy because it's it will be automatically converted to string so you will call its to string method to figure out the the string representation of this object okay now let's try to output the R dot right one dot so var string is there uh, oh this guy um, description oh yeah let's do this description equals empty right now we can do desc plus equal a dot now we can return this desc let's give a try run it one dot that's great now the for loop we need eight in a row right four um i in zero dot dot seven okay um let's put it inside and uh yeah i think it's good try it again eight dots right now okay so did that put the uh, this is called a colon here okay and let's create another for loop this is row in zero dot dot seven again and uh is there any auto yeah that's cool <laughs> automatically formatted it okay now row we need to add a line break this is line break in any programming language okay run it um is it good let's make it a little bit bigger so that's clear and run again i'm not sure um oh it's like that one two three four five six seven eight um okay we can do that right we insert our line break at the very beginning mm-hmm um 
well it's description uh-huh it it doesn't work what about this one what about this one <laughs> still um it's not lined up haha <laughs> Um, line break um, what about this at the at the space here run again yeah this one works this one works okay so that's the trick nice um let's add the label at the bottom of the um the output the our empty game board so we can do um line break yeah no it's not here you should be here so dsc plus equal um like zero one two three four five six seven All right try it scroll yeah cool and uh, now let's add the the label on the left right starting from bottom zero one two three four five six seven to be consistent we'll uh, define the bottom left bottom left as our logical origin of the um, coordinate so here um, can we do this like seven to zero and the ESC plus equal um, uh, row right this guy we need this guy row okay let's try and maybe we need a space here DESC what happened here plus equal where was my dot um mm -hmm. Oh, maybe it's because of this guy. <laughs> uh, let's put it back and use seven minus row. Okay, this should work. What? The dollar sign mm -hmm. So is it like that? Um
Let's try this. Okay. So this is a surprise to me. We cannot do. We cannot do this. We cannot do this. We cannot do that. Okay, so it means can we do this? Run it. No. Nope. Uh, so of course we can do something like that. Um, Value like um, R equals right uh, seven minus row. Now we can use this one template R. trying to find out the solution is oh yeah this works okay cool so that's it for this thank you for watching see you next time